going on, everybody? Boy Amigo Vic, aka the Bad Umbre. Make this quick video, um, answer some of y'all questions, kind of show you my workflow. Um, I had a lot of people ask me about starting up, um, what they need, or I had some questions like starting from, let's say, a 2000 XL going into an NPC Studio or NPC Grin. Questions on uh, then the software, how to do certain things. It's one of one of the probably the main reasons why I'm making this video so I could uh, answer answer those questions for y'all. I want to show you my workflow as well. Um, one big question that I always got was my opinion on the Kai NPC uh, Studio and Ren. Um, they're almost the same. Also, um, what kind of software to use, what dolls, how to start out as a, a producer or as a beat maker or Whatever you want to call it I, um, I started probably in 2002 um, around 2002 I was, I was my last year in high school and I started using FL studio I don't know what version it was back then probably one first couple beats were silly um, and I, I used it probably up to around the age of 23 maybe 25 around that age I got married started having kids I kind of put the music on the back burner. I was focused on the family and, you know, um, get promoted in the army. I really didn't miss with it that that much. And a couple years passed. Well, actually, last year, a year and a half ago, I started watching videos on people making beats and producing. And I wanted to get back into that. Um, I looked into Akai. Also looked into a lot of other stuff. Uh, you got your machine, your uh, native instruments. I want to go back to Fruity Loops. Nothing against that. I just felt like I was wanted to try something else. So uh, I decided I wanted to get the NPC Renaissance. So I ordered it. Uh, but again, before I ordered it, I was watching tons of videos and instruction videos to use it. Uh, so when I finally got it, opened it up, took it out the box. A little frustrated because because I didn't really know how to work it. Uh, so again, uh, it was frustrating. Every day I try to learn something new, whether it be what a button does. Stuff I would always watch and try to learn something new. So as far as what I use, I just use MPC software. I make the beat on it, export it out as an MP3, and call it a day. And that's my workflow. I know there's probably easier ways. I know some people um, track it out and they sometimes use logic. It's whatever you want to do. So if, you, if you're starting off and trying to get into making beats, um, research uh, what product you want to buy, whether it's hardware or software or both. Um, I also have the NPC Studio Black. And I was using that uh, when I was uh, like traveling out outside the state and staying in a hotel. Kind of squashed that when they came out with uh, NPC Live because right? this is a standalone. So all you need is the headphones and that. So I'm looking to get in that. But again, if you're starting out, just uh, research what you're trying to use and whatever you get, um, you know, learn, learn something new every day. And uh, that's probably like one of the biggest questions I had was just starting out making beats suggestions i also kind of looked into as far as setup as far as computers uh monitors even how to set up a room you know i was looking into uh, little home studios how to sound not really soundproof but uh get the acoustics right went to to that deep because when you're making beats you also want to want to get into like uh, mixing them down and making sure they sound right spending all that time making it then you want the outcome to, to sound real nice there's a lot of different aspects to get into so uh yeah, if you got any more questions on it um just drop a comment below man uh, i'll get you that answer for you download the sample or download the song or sample whatever i'm trying to use as mp3 then i drag it into the pc software double click it and open it up all right no tell so this is a whole sample in here so i'm using the the cursor you drag it to the portion where I want to, where I want to sample. Zoom it in, so I can get real close. Now these cursors right here, these Q links or these knobs or whatever you want to call them, uh, you could use them to uh, move your 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 in your your ins and outs as far as what you want to grab from the sample. All right, zoom in and then you could uh, look into there and really find out what what part you want to start at or end at. 
All right, guitar rift. Probably gonna just use first that first loop. Or right now I'm just finding out where I, what I wanna, what part I wanna grab, where I basically wanna want the sample to stop at. Another question that I had was um, how to tune it up and down, how to adjust the pitch, speed, and all that. So I'm using the cursors and uh, hitting it to where it has, where it says tune, I'm sorry, where it says tune. And from there, you could use the wheel, the jogger, to uh, go down, right? Uh, all the Texas heads out there, slow it down. All right, you speed it up, right? It's all on you. Whatever part that you that you got highlighted, you tune it up or down the pad and find find what you want all right that's what i usually do i get that out the way so i know the, what the feeling of the sample of the song is going to be all right i'm gonna hit the extract button what it's going to do is going to create another file right I'm drag it down below or it's going to populate them on the right i'm sorry Song's pretty much uh, finished. I don't think it's that one. But once you grab the sample, um, it creates a new file. Then you can actually open up that file again, and then chop it down to uh, how you want it to be chopped. Okay. Then you uh, expand it out against the against the pads in there. Normally, just drag it one by one. Or if I want to take that whole sample, I just drag that whole sample into that pad. The way I work. Normally if I have the sample that I want, I still chop it down so I can fit it into the pad so I can be able to manipulate or play it how I want to. All right. All right, so once you got your, your pads, samples in your pads and you lay them out how you want it to, um, that's pretty much my workflow right there. Uh, and then you can get into, you know, adding, adding drums, all that good stuff. I know I went through it kind of quick. Uh, if there's um, certain questions that you have, I'll just you know comment below. Uh, I either make a video or if it's faster, I'll, I'll easier to explain. I'll, I'll write you back in the comments. So, uh, kind of curious on what type of uh, uh, how what type of equipment uh, you making your beats on. Also curious of what uh, what did you start off from? All right. Uh, so much stuff to make music on nowadays um, you know programs on iPads and stuff it's pretty much my workflow and once I got everything um, as far as what I want inside the beat then once I got all the se different sequences uh, the button says song on it hit that and you're able to um, what sequence you want into in order to make the actual song for your beat I'm sorry once I got the beat uh, laid out I just export it as mp3 i'm pretty much happy um i might open it up in logic and do some tweaking as far as the eq and then save it again but other than that i mean that's basically how i i make my beats and if you got any questions um hit me down in the comment section below i appreciate y'all i appreciate the support as well